Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hello. Welcome back. How are you guys doing today? What is up on this fine day today? I don't have my AC on. I might have to turn it on already. I might have to turn it on already. It's already getting warm. Hey, Mr. McDucky, I be good to see you, the guy. You're at the dentist. Good luck out there. <laughs> Super John, how's it going? Waffles, Concord, how's it going, guys? Katie Cat, welcome back. Abdul, hello to you. Hey, Blue Flame. Ruidic, good to see you. Robert, good day to you. The down is up on that day. Yo, Liddy, how's it going? I'm turning my AC on. I thought I was going to get away with uh, no AC today. Yeah, right. Let me just change. Let me make sure this is working here. I'm sure you can hear it right now, but we'll fix that. There we go. That's not too bad, All right? Should be okay. AC is already on. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> My opinion on teriyaki salmon. Uh, well, I don't eat seafood or fish or anything like that, so... So I would say I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of teriyaki to begin with, like the teriyaki sauce and stuff like that. It's not my favorite. It's not one of my favorites. Hey, Mackler. Max Speeder, good to see you guys. Gareth. Hope you're having a great day, Gareth. It's great to see ya. Julian. Last build day? No, this is not the last build day. <laughs> With that said, though, let's start building, shall we? How long am I planning on streaming today? Uh, my scrap mechanic streams are usually, what, three to four hours long? Um, anything more than that and my sanity starts to deplete. What's the plan for today? We're gonna keep working on, on uh, the uh, Wild West hide and seek. Tokyo, Tokyo Kai, how's it going? Tokyo K, Tokyo Kai. One of those. <laughs> hey, warrior. The uh, modded challenge mode is coming very close to being finished. Ooh, nice. I wish you all the best with that, the guy. I was thinking today, uh, whoops. Might get the starting, like the, the, the seeker and the hider system started today as well. What am I missing? My lift. I was thinking about doing that anyway. Hey, Iron Steve. Gonna grab some snacks. Yeah, get your snackies. Make sure you get some snacks into you. Hey, Joey. Hey. Wanna come up? Joey. Wanna come up? I got a kitty. Hey, Joey. Bye, Joey. See ya. Just saying hi. Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, we've been working, uh, working like, like crazy. We're going crazy. Um, okay, hold on. I had an idea for this here. I don't, I just don't want to work on it while it's spinning. Uh, so let's just... Let's just stop the spinning very quickly. And uh, I realized, because th there's a button on these birds, and I need to kind of hide it a little bit. You can see there's like a button like that. I think what I might do is paint it the head white. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, we've done this before. I'm just going to put a screw here. I'm going to paint that red as well. So now from down here. <laughs> it's been a while. It has, Gareth. Yeah. Hey, MB. What am I going to do today? The same thing we do every day, Pinky. Every detail that I did. 
okay, well, I put this plant here, and then I put that plant there. I added this plant here as well. Uh, you know, more plants, stuff like that. <laughs> lag? Is there lag? Don't tell me the stream is lagging already. Hey, Rando. Get our blocks going here. Hmm. One thing I was thinking, um, I want to add just something to break up the uh, middle line here. And I was thinking about it last night, actually, I think it was. I, I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but we could definitely just add some stacks of hay in the middle here. Stream's fine for you. Eh. Maybe not. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna start doing some of the uh, hide and seek stuff here. Um, so there's room for eight players, right? Technically, yeah, there's room for eight. You made a new upload that's 100% but free. Yeah, I, I took a glance at your comment section there, and uh, I mean, I, I read maybe one page, and <laughs> I was I saw like 20, but I was like, no, sorry, I'm not, I'm not reading all that. Can you put hay on a bearing to be hammered open and closed? Technically, well, the hand, those hay bales, um, they are destructible, actually, so... I did, oh, I have a, I, ha, I thought of a really good idea for a hiding spot, actually, and I am going to do what I originally planned here. I think. Hmm. I was thinking of having a spot that you go under, but there's no button to get to it, and you have to break the sand to find them, but I think I was really against that, wasn't I? I just, I had, I got, it was just an idea, but I thought it was maybe a good idea. What, I don't know, what do you think? Hey, Zohair, water well? What about a water well? It was so funny. Yeah, I don't know. It must be you, your internet's been on and off lately. Oh, that sucks. It's a good idea. I think it's a pretty good idea, right? I just don't know how I'm going to make it so that you access the spot. You know what I mean? Like, how do you access the spot? Because it, it can't just be button related. Hey, Sunspot. All your ideas are good. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe not all of them. Uh, let's get these birds in motion again here. Yeah, uh, Blue Flame, I was meaning, I've been meaning to bring this up actually. I haven't brought this up to anybody. Um, but what happened to the cloud saving? Why is it forced now? Because I went into my game options and my cloud sync was still disabled. But for some reason, it uh, it's still syncing. Put spud guns in the gun. Everyone everyone gets a uh, spud gun by default, Camille. It's one of the spawning options. So I realize every single... Okay, well, not every single, actually. They can share, right? They can share. Each wall shares a cell. So we only need four two-minute timers. Yeah, four minute, two minute, or four two minute timers. Because the wall, they'll just share it in between the walls. 
Yours is off too? Hey, fan, how's it going? Clear the Steam cache. That is really, that should help. That's interesting. But something must have changed, right? Okay, I don't think these are connected yet, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if we want any more detail in the uh, jail cells here or not. I don't think we really need it. But I think we will use uh, like a letter H and a letter S. That seems like a pretty standard thing. Yeah, Mackler, I do have some spots that are like that. The one I was thinking of, though, is like... You would hide under sand, and then there... But there would be no button to access the spot, and you're required to dig through just one single layer of sand, right? And that's it. Hey, Banan. Is it done yet, Austin? No, it's not done yet. So what I might do, actually, is... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, what I'm going to do is extend this like that. So this way, I can just... I can probably put... At least some of the stuff in here. Maybe actually most of it, if not all of it, right? Just hide the logic in here. The map looks nice. Well, thank you. It's been uh, it's been a work in progress. It still is. Still is. Hey, too white today. It's good to see you. Do I think Chapter 2 will finally release this year? I don't know. I mean, I thought the... I thought the devs were pretty... Confident that they were going to be done... Uh, this year, but I don't know. I don't really think about it. <laughs> I don't... Oh, as if I can't reach that. Yeah, it needs to sink, yeah. It's kind of weird. So the two bottom ones like that. Two top ones. How would the hole you dig get hidden? Well, no, uh, Tanko, it's, I, that is the thing, right? It's like, you would get into the spot without digging, but the thing is, like, how do I make it so that you are forced to, to dig, right? Because we're gonna do more hiding spots as well. I'm just trying to get it all kind of done together at the same time. Uh, but it also helps motivate to kind of jump around from one part of the build to the other, you know? Do you think Chapter 2 is all I think, actually? Hey, Aaron, good to see you. Hopefully. Release a new game before Chapter 2. It would be pretty shocking. It would be pretty shocking. So these are all gonna... So these are okay. These are by default in the open position. I don't... We don't really want that, do we? I don't... I don't... We want them to just start closed and then you hit the, high, the hider button and then the door opens. Mistakes were made. But we can fix it. Hey, CPU! Love the vultures. Yeah, that was a good one. Have the spot open at the start and close at two minutes. Hey, Ratto. I'm doing great, thank you. How are you doing? I have been really enjoying Dark and Darker, by the way, guys. I've been loving Dark and Darker. It's my favorite game ever now. <laughs> uh, let's just weld these before we start moving around, actually. Oh, maybe not. Oh. 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 Got it. Your Scrap Mechanic Workshop subscriptions? Ugh. Don't make me think about that. I 
I probably have like a thousand, if not more of them. Probably more, right? I'm, I would imagine after this many years of playing this game, I must have over a thousand workshop uh, downloads. Door open equal map preview, doors auto close at 15 seconds. No, because if you want a map preview, then just hit the hider button. You know what I mean? Just hit the hider button and that will release you from your, uh, from your cell. Hey, Hoyo, good to see you. I see Walter Waves, how are you doing? Steam has a feature to select and unsubscribe from all selected. Well, I thought that there was an issue with the caching though, where, cause I've had it before, I'm pretty sure, where I've deleted workshop items like from the lift anyway, but they still reappear and you have to like delete them from the folders. I don't know. Hey, AJ. Guess what? What? I don't know. I can't begin to even guess what right now. <laughs> it's a mystery. Chicken butt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Ruidic. That's what I was just saying. Sometimes it seems like that happens. You fixed your PC. Well, that's good news. I would not want to have a broken PC. Should we add a hiding spot back here? Probably not. So there's already one hiding spot in the... Uh, the, what is this called? The sheriff's prison? Jail? What does it say? Oh, there's no name on it. All right, we have to add a name to this. I guessed correctly. Hey, Jadji. Good to see you. Okay, so... Uh... Hmm. Okay, so right now they're all obviously open. Or, I mean, closed. But what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna set them all to 90 by default for now, just to get them open so we can go in and out of the cells. A car with 20 cows? Do you mean, like, a... a wag... a... a, a wagon? Mm -hmm. It was broke for almost an entire month. Oh my god. Uh, what did you end up having to get done? Did you have to, uh... Must have had to replace some parts or something? Rusty Shacklefords? You know, the, uh, the voice actor... For, uh, Dale Gribble passed away, actually. Last week, I think it was. Very sad. When do we get more Tenda? Yeah, I haven't been touching Sea of Thieves, uh, much since uh, Dark and Darker came out. <laughs> That's for him. Hey, anime ducks. A car run by 20 cows. Like a whole crew of cows that are required. All right, one cow's working the gas pedal. The other one is working the brakes. We got one steering, one on the clutch, one on the shifter. <laughs> uh, it was a factory reset that you had to do? Oh, I mean, I mean, a factory reset, isn't that, that's like, of all the things, that's an easier thing to do, and it's not expensive, because you just have to kind of reformat, right? Cows are glitchy. <laughs> yeah, that's why we only have a couple of them in this scene. Hey, bear. Hey, Joey. You're back again, are you? Oh, my. I'm getting headbutt from Joey right now. Okay, I had all these controllers for the... Uh... I'm seeing this now. I think I had all these controllers here for before. What's going on? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I think these were all for the uh, original doors, but that's okay.
I'm so underrated. I guess I'd rather be underrated than overrated. <laughs> hey, Nuts Bar, Fog Rain, good to see you guys. You're playing Black Ops, some Call of Duty, getting some COD gaming in. So when it comes to switches, all right, these are our, these are our options. These are the options. So we're gonna have a timer wall. I guess four timers is enough, right? Four timers, 30 seconds per timer, blah, blah, blah. Right? The annoying thing is making, I wanna make sure, you have to make sure that the timers, uh, you have to make sure that they're all going in the right direction, right? So let's just set them all to one second. Oh, that was two. Hey, Divine Touch. I should have a million because of the survival series. Would it be so hard to just put an arrow? Just put an arrow on the timer, please. Is this better? Did this? Why is there an arrow on these things? Am I going the opposite? Okay, well, I guess I know I could have just swapped the direction. Okay, that's that's basically what I just did. I rewired them in the opposite direction. Wait, no! What? Stupid timers. There we go. <laughs> Could I just move the switch to the right side? Well, no, it's not the switch. I'm just... It's, I don't really care which way the uh, the timer goes, as long as it's uh, successive. Is that the right word I'm looking for? Just gonna do it the opposite way. I don't even care. The good thing is, uh, these are shared, so we don't have to do that again. Magic. Hey, Butch, good to see you. Resource packs like Minecraft? Yeah, I don't know what that is, so... <laughs> but I believe you. Can someone explain to me what a resource pack is? Consecutive? Maybe that's a better word. Hey Travis. Sequential? Well what did that what was the word I used? Okay, that one looked good, right? A pack of textures and three models to change. Oh, I see. Um, I see. A pack of alternate textures. Ah, well, that makes sense. I mean, aren't, aren't, couldn't you have mods that do that in this game, though? Like, is that not what a mod could do? You know what I mean? Folders containing mods, shaders, textures. It's kind of like mods ish, you guess. Like an arrow on timers. <laughs> Sign me up for Minecraft. If they got 
<laughs> arrows on their timers. Can you paint those? Oh, you can too. Look at that. I think we'll keep them default blue, though. I kind of like the default challenge color scheme. See you later, Ducky. In Minecraft, mods usually add stuff, not change stuff. No, I know. I'm just, I'm meaning more so that a mod could provide that service, so to speak, right? Hey, DJH. Sometimes they do. You don't have to change the root game folders. Oh, so you can, okay, so you can like load the game up and choose to load a different resource package, right? I mean, that's how they, that's how you run the mo mods and stuff in Minecraft anyway, right? So I guess when it comes to Hider and Seeker, kind of letters, I guess we'll just use pipe letters, right? H and S. Uh, let's prefab this. I'm going to make my own. I know we have that letter wall, but... <laughs> that bird, uh... The bird shadow kind of threw me off for a second there. It scared me. Those packs, because of the mods, can add all those things as new. Hey, Thomas. It's built better for mods. Yeah, I mean... That game's been around for, what, 15 years now? See you later, nuts. Items and mobs. Radden, good to see ya. Uh, let's just grab whatever wood. That sounds good. Wood sounds good. So if I want an H, uh, I think this is probably our best bet here, right? I don't think, uh, okay, I have that. Yeah, we'll do it three wide, right? Maybe. Kind of big. In Bedrock, you can buy packs and world skins, all of that. Put them in on the game. In, on, in game. Oh, I see. This seems kind of large. But if I were to make an S. Uh, okay, so if I want an S. Hey, Chris, I'm having a great day. Thank you. Tinmar, good to see you. So this could be, in theory... Yeah, I mean, that's an S right there. It's too wide. So we could have a too wide uh, H as well, maybe? No. No. No, no. I think uh, what I'm gonna do... Whoops. Okay, wait, this is a very flat and squished S, isn't it? Check using resource texture packs. That's true because it's it's directly through the game engine and stuff like that, and not some added on third party kind of change, right? How maybe keep trying? It's too wide. Make it three. Well, that was three. What do you mean make it three? That was three. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to use that block, but... Hey, Fighter Baba. Not too much is up here. 
use the square pipe instead of the curved pipe, the one with the three points. Yeah, but that one's a 90 degree like sharp angle, isn't it? Moombo should start playing Minecraft. That's it, the secret formula. Maybe. That looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, the, it's a fancy S. So the H, the H looks quite pitiful now, next to that amazing S. <laughs> hey, J Dog. Sounds like a joke from Airplane. Don't call me Shirley. I gotta re. Man, that's a movie I gotta kind of want to rewatch again at some point. Is this making it worse? Is that worse? That's worse. <laughs> So this looks good, eh? Put nuts on the ends? Why? No, I don't need to do that. Why do I imagine that S in a different voice? <laughs> S. Actually changing the font. Yeah, how do I make the H look, uh... I don't know. I think we're just going to use the blocks. That's fine. We're overcomplicating this. There it is. H and S right there, right? Okay. Will I be making another cooking stream soon? Yeah, Fighter Baba. I think actually at some point this month before the end of August, uh, we'll probably do another cooking stream. I would like to make some homemade pasta. Uh, this is gonna be on the opposite. No, no, not on the opposite wall. Never mind. Uh, let's get a switch here. Could make a plus out of the curves as well. The wobbly H. It looked kind of like the bat symbol or something, didn't it? 45 minutes of letter construction variations. You know what, though? I mean, knowing you guys, I know there are some of you out there who would probably be more than happy with that. Trying to figure out where I want these and stuff. I was thinking something like this. Hider, seeker, right? Stop playing games just to watch your favorite YouTuber, me. <laughs> It's gotta be painted brown. Uh, but I'll do the light. We'll do the light one here just to contrast the, uh, whoops. There we go. That would be enjoyable. Hey, Jado. Do the H and S stand for anything? Yeah, it's Hider and Seeker. So when you load into the map, you're gonna load into a cell like this. And you're going to choose whether you're going to be hiding or seeking. Uh, and if you're hiding, then the door is just going to open up and then you'll be allowed to exit into the arena. And if you hit S, then the door stays shut and the timer starts to go. Hey, Vendel, how can Mubo be not be your favorite YouTuber? There's a lot of YouTubers out there. Do the hider cells need timers? Well, every cell is binary. Any cell could be a hider cell or a seeker cell. And that's why every cell shares a timer here as well. Uh, so once that decision is made, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I have these little, they're, they're quite pointless, but just like a random detail. I'm gonna get rid of them on this side of the wall here because I'm gonna put the uh, letters there. 
Waffles has joined chat. What? There may be a lot, but you're still the best. <laughs> well, thank you. You guys. Too kind. How long shall those quests take? What? Are you talking to me? You talking to me right now? You talking to me? Nobody else around, you must be talking to me. So, switches, I believe we had one here and one here, right? So that's where the switches are going. You have to forgive me, you miss stuff because you're listening while working. I'm telling your boss! I'm telling! Get back to work! Hey, Unfairity, how's it going? Was that a bird shadow outside? No, you're just seeing things, Vendel. You're going completely crazy. There are no bird shadows. There are no birds. There's no light. Nothing's real. Am I making this for a future multiplayer Monday? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm sure we will do it in a multiplayer Monday at some point. Uh, yeah, so the switches are in fact there. You meant hi? I thought I said hi to you already. I thought I was seeing some deja vu. Seeing it? Feeling it? Experiencing it? Yeah, Katie Cat. Um, don't worry. We don't have to worry about the, uh, the horrible realities of prison in this game. We're going to keep it light and fresh. You'd give them a raise. Promote that man. He's watching Moombo. <laughs> Maybe you do. No, oh, yeah, we got some bird shadows out there. Some vultures in the sky. Can I be your fan? KVSC, you are officially my fan. I bestow upon you fandom ship to Moonbo. Non-refundable, by the way. Prison for two minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Fighter Baba, we have talked about that before. We'll, we'll probably do that at some point. <laughs> Dead Tool, how's it going? You know, I was building efficiently, smoothly. Chat was giving me amazing suggestions up until the last, like, 30 seconds, actually. I don't know what happened. Something changed. Doesn't feel the same anymore. Confetti? Are you just asking for confetti now? <laughs> Is that what we've come to? Is that it? Just demanding confetti? How's it going, Revco? AC inside the cells for extra freshness. Waiting for you to piss me off before I donate. So yeah, I got angry donators. Is that what it is? If you guys are happy with your viewing experience, it's like, no. Are you upset with something? I have to let Moombo know. If I don't tell Moombo that I'm upset, well, then how is he gonna know I'm upset? Pixel plays derails the second you get to a stream too. I think I'm, I feel like I'm dropping frames here and there a little bit, probably because I'm just welding to the whole thing. I want my confetti now. Hey, Thomo Sapiens, good to see ya. I welded that H backwards.
Okay, bottom is done. Yeah, I'm feeling some frame drops, but I think it's just because I'm welding right now, maybe. I don't know. Just paint something brown. Oh, I'm on it. Don't worry. I'll, we'll get there. There's loads of time to paint stuff brown. Some classical music. Okay, that's a backwards S. Disrespect treatment. Two more. Two more times. We got this. Keep it up. Let's go. If they're in high school, exactly. So I have a feeling uh, in Multiplayer Monday, we're just going to sit around and not participate. Because clearly, we don't meet the criteria. Dr. Disrespect. True role model, that guy. Map's looking good. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate that. I'm welding everything backwards today. I am playing a kid's game. Yeah. But that has nothing to do with this hide-and-seek map. So I'm trying to think if I should make a... a more robust hide-and-seek system. Okay, everything's looking good. That might have been a burn towards the entire chat, including you. S for secondary school. Yes, it does, Andrew. I'm going to put in the description a suggestion that seekers do not use the camera. Since when is Scrap Mechanic a kid's game? It's a good question. Just eat ice cream, Waffles. Just eat some ice cream. It's going to be a win-win for you. Have you seen the workshop? Not really a kid's game based on what you've seen. Well, I mean, the young kids can... The young, young kids are obviously fine, but... I think there's some edgy teenagers who play this game as well, so... Okay, so how is this going to work? So... Every single okay well hold on we know for a fact that we need to set these to 30 seconds All right that's a guarantee that's two minutes on the clock two minute minor penalty how many days before I think it's done I'm not sure it's a cartoony creative playground for all ages I mean, it certainly provides uh, entertainment for all ages, doesn't it? Is Mambo here? Mambo, how's it going? Love you. Edgy people don't say they're edgy. No, I know they don't. You think those types of people have the self-awareness? You think they have that level of self-awareness? Okay, oh yeah, oh my god, I'm checking both sides. They're sharing the same side, Moombo. You only have to check it once. Teenage angst? I don't buy that. 
I was a teenager once and I wasn't a piece of shit. <laughs> but hey, that's me. They're too edgy to care. Whatever you say, did to it. Whatever you say. If a, can a peeker climb if they climb the bed? I was kind of hoping that yes, you could in theory, uh, but maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't because depending on which cell you're in, would potentially provide a different view. Ah, whatever. I don't care. If you can see a little bit, who cares? What about toilets in the jail cells? Uh, they have to use the outhouses. There's a number of outhouses for them to use. They'll make do. That's what an edgy person would say. Hmm, you're sounding like quite the edgy person right now. So you could hide here technically, right? You could technically hide right here in this corner. Do I need to know how many players have loaded in to the map? Uh, yeah, Rust Tree, multiple spawn pads will cause... If there's multiple people connecting, they w it will keep finding a new spawn pad. Why make all four equal when I can use random numbers that add to two minutes? Well, because if it's random numbers, then I would need to have a... Oh, I see. You mean just like have them? Oh, yeah, because I, I mean, obviously everyone wants a consistent timer. Could you imagine not knowing just because like this one's moving fast and then this one's moving slower? That would be kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. It'd be kind of funny. Hiding in the cell the whole time. I mean, you could in theory do that, right? You could. How much time you spend on finding hiding spots? Uh, two minutes is the standard. Yeah. You know I want to stick a hiding spot in that corner? Well, this is, in theory, this is a hiding spot in a way, isn't it? We could add a switch-based one there if you want, but, like, what if the Seeker's right here? And the Seeker's just watching you go into that back... <laughs> that's, that's kind of the reason why I don't want any hiding spots here, is because uh, they could prove to be quite obsolete, actually, if, uh, like, depending on who ends up being the Seeker in the cell that they're starting in, right? Do the random timers in just one cell? I don't need to know how many players. Yeah, Blake, the thing I'm thinking about, though, is... I guess... Yeah, okay, so... Because here's the reason why I'm wondering about this. Because if... I want the, the doors to open, and the timer... Okay, so it... It's nice for players to be able to leave this, like to leave the starting area without having to designate a seeker that's locked in their cell, right? Yo, dead duel! A vegan and a vegetarian jump off a cliff to see who would hit the ground first. Who wins? <laughs> dead duel, thank you for the $5 super chat. That's a really good question, actually. I uh, haven't really considered uh, that scenario. This is hypothetical, right? I, I, is this a hypothetical or is this like a based on fact? Ten, twenties, third. No, I'm not doing random timers. I'm not doing the random timers. So it's nice to be able to hit the hider and leave right away. Okay, so maybe the front door. No, wait, no, because that has to. You have not made me angry yet. All right. The guy, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. My bad. Uh, my bad. It's society. Dead Tool, thank you for the $2 super chat. Good one. Dead, I know Dead Tools are a true carnivore, right? A true carnivore. Dead Tool, thank you for the super chat. The guy, thank you so much as well. I was a good teenager, better than my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so
so yeah so pressing if i'm in the cell and i just want to go hide i just hit hide my door opens and i'm allowed to go right so basically if you press the seeker it just that's what starts the challenge i guess does that make sense then Since you're old and behind the times. Put shutters on the seeker cell that reopen on start. Oh, like hide the barred window. Leave the door open as a default and only one switch that closes the door and reopens after two minutes. What if it just assumes that you're hiding if you don't press the seeker switch? Well, that's the thing, though, right? It's like, I'm trying to, like... So you're saying whoever presses the seeker switch... With the current setup, they could enter both hider and seeker. Well, I'm going to make it so that they can't do both, that's for sure. Um, so why don't we... Because they can't do both. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, do I really need to like create such a robust system to stop people from doing that kind of stuff you know like if you're playing hide and seek with your friends and one of your friends cheating i mean you know what kind of friend is that what if you have multiple seekers well that's why i, I want multiple that's why i'm thinking i might need to know how many people are in each game because if I know how many people are in each game, I can wait for each response before starting. You know what I mean? And then once everyone has input a single selection, it activates to the stuff. Wait, you guys have friends? This reminds you of the train world logic mess? This might not be as bad. This is Paul No, it doesn't have an output. Um, so what I was thinking of doing was... Um, I mean, it could be as simple as just a... I was thinking it could be a big sensor. You know what I mean? Like, it could just be as simple as a sensor. So when you spawn in, the sensor activates, right? So it knows that this cell has somebody in it. modded challenge mode you would build the system for me i'll figure it out add a ready up switch yo blake thank you for the two dollar super chat add a ready up switch well what do you mean by a ready up switch though so you mean like you make your selection and then you confirm your selection is that what you mean the logic is too much for me it would be a lot of logic to, to, like, figure that out. But I feel like I could at the very least have the system that at least tells me if every player has made a decision or not before activating the system, right? A main door sensor? Maybe if the, the hiders press the switch, then the seeker starts the game. Well, I was thinking about that, but I don't want that because if you don't want a seeker, like if you want to be able to just go and explore the map, you should be able to just do that, right? So if you load in by yourself and hit H, the door should just open. You know what I mean? And the challenge won't start until you've exited the door and then you, through a window, any of these windows, you'll be able to go over here and hit a seeker button if you really want to start the challenge, right? Will I play chapter two when it's out? I think so, yeah. Your daughter Olivia won't go to bed until I say hi. Olivia, hello. Now go get some sleep. <laughs> hey, Blazing Phoenix. The half complicated things. You missed me Tuesday. How's it going, Joe? Seems easier than me trying to do logic. H does nothing. S starts the timer if not already running and closes the door. Not fancy, but it would work. 
It's true. I mean, that could be the easiest thing then, right? All of the doors just start open like this, and... You don't even have to select Seeker. Right? I mean, you don't have to select Hider. All you need to do is opt to be a Seeker or not. That makes sense, actually, right? That's probably the easiest way to do it. There's no hiding button. You just choose to elect yourself as a Seeker. And if you do... It starts the challenge. If they want to explore the map solo, they can select Seeker. Well, they would have to be out of the cell first, right? One happy girl. <laughs> the H opens the door immediately and the S opens it after the timer. I don't know. I guess I kind of like having the, like, the H, like, the opt-in for Hyder as well, though. Brando, please stop spamming the chat. Hey, Angel Boy. That's how you would have done it from the bat. What about multiple Seekers? Well, that's why I'm thinking I might have the sensor that detects how many people are there. They don't have to do anything to explore. S just closes the door if you choose to. Well, you need to start the challenge, right? That's the thing. You have to be able to start the challenge. And so that's why I was saying, like, you could, in theory, open... You could hit the uh, switch here through the window to start the challenge, right? Because that's obviously... It's very important that you start the challenge in order to fully experience it while exploring. Yeah, but if you want two Seekers... No need for the button for H. Make a ready button that has to be on if H or S is selected. Yeah, that was suggested. Like a ready, like a confirmation button of your of your choice. You can have one switch to choose hider or seeker, and another main switch to start the challenge. You know what? I think that's probably the best way to do it. So that's what I think. That's what we're gonna do. Every you can designate who's hiding and who's seeking. It doesn't have to be some complicated, stupid, convoluted system. That's all like, oh, wait, well, you press the button and then you press the button and you, you're cheating. I don't care. If you're playing with friends and they're cheating in this game, well, that's your guys' problem. <laughs> you never realize the logic behind starting a hide and seek round? How's it going, Mr. Tootie? Uh, I mean, there. it doesn't have to be complicated. Some of them are very complicated. Could you randomize it? No, I wouldn't want to randomize it. No, yeah, I, there is. we don't need a big... Uh, a big uh, we don't need a, a big, complicated, convoluted system, actually, so... The only thing is, this is open right now, so someone could technically... Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, then... I'm, I want to close this as well, because technically this is an exit from the, um... This is technically an exit, right? So what I'm gonna do is, we have to close this exit as well. So... I just want to make sure... Is that sand? It is sand, isn't it? Can you make the challenge start from a sensor at the building's exit? Well, it could even just be a switch that opens the door, even. There's only two rolls. That's one boolean. You only need one switch if you have a con confirm thing. I mean, it, we can make it even easier than that, though, as well, I think. By making it so that you just... If you... If you choose Seeker, your door closes... I mean, it's one of those things, right? Like... We'll make it work. I need to shut this exit, though. Or entrance. I guess it's an exit. The main door? Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna... I can... We can put a door on the main door. Hence why it's called a door. Uh, but we'll be able to do that. And... I think... This should be fine. Uh, my controller's gone already. Didn't last long. You DM'd me a diagram? 
So long as you know how many are in the challenge, the hide or seeker selection system would work. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, let's see if we're gonna get enough length off of this here. I think it was five. Perfect, right? Hey, Ryan, good to see you. A certain number of buttons need to be held down to start the challenge. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that does complicate stuff again, for sure. No selection needed when the front door opens. All the cell doors close for two minutes. You know what, Butch? You're absolutely right. We don't even have to choose. If you're a seeker, you just stay in your cell. And then when the button is switched here, it starts the challenge, starts the two minute timer, closes all the cell doors, and then it opens all the cell doors after two minutes. That's the easiest way to do it. If I detect players spawning in, it will work how I first envisioned it. I mean, that is true, but I guess it's just, it's not really, it's, it's not that necessary, I guess, in the end, because if you want to be the seeker, just stay in your cell. Right? What mu music do we have today? Uh, yeah, we're listening to Wolf and Raven at the moment. I need to add 38 more hiding spots. We've got a lot of hiding spots. It's good logic practice. Yeah, I'm never practicing logic on stream with you guys ever. <laughs> That's not happening. That's your project management certification coming in handy with value engineering. Well, at least it's coming in handy one time, Butch. I'm a joker, by the way. If you haven't noticed, I might joke about you. It would add weeks onto the build. No, it wouldn't add weeks. Only days. My goodness. It wouldn't be weeks. Only days. I wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> Never mind. I wasn't joking. I was being serious. So I guess we don't need these buttons. Right? Once Seeker is chosen, the rest open. And then... I just... You know what? You don't even have to make a choice. It's not necessary. Because all it, all it has to be is the Seeker stays in his cell. That's it. Right? Right? I like it that way. I actually prefer it that way. I think this looks so much cleaner too. I was not, I'm not gonna lie, but the S and the H were looking real bad. They weren't looking all that nice. The challenge started with the doors closed, and if the hider switch is pressed, the door opens, and then the timer starts. Well, that would the timer starting and people selecting hider are are separate things. Then all the timers run simultaneously. Exactly, exactly. You don't. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to select anything because all the timers are going to start. Right? They're all going to start. It's going to be the moment you uh, open the front door. This is the easiest way to do it, uh, but it's also the cleanest way, I find, right? It's a very clean way to do it. But the fancy S. We, maybe we can put that S somewhere else on the map <laughs> to commemorate the fancy S. Yeah, blue. That's how we have it. The or I, I already tested the timers. So prison cells being open by default is clean? Well, I mean... It's not a real prison. How many cells? There's room for eight people at the moment. I think eight people is a substantial amount of spawning space, right?
So here's the thing, okay? So the doors will start closed. You need pictures with your instructions. You're all for complicating things. I don't mind complicating things when I don't have a bunch of people watching me. So here's what I think I can do. Every door will have a switch. Okay. Kind of want to put the switch on here, but no, that's fine. So every door will have a switch, okay? So that way they, they can all close at the start. A smaller building with one big holding cell for the Seeker. I mean, at this point, it's all thematics. We're, we're in too deep. Is there a maximum server size? I don't think so. I think it's, it's all peer-to-peer -peer anyway, so there's no servers, so... It's peer-to-peer -peer hosting, so it's as many connections as your internet can handle, I think. Give every door a switch on the outside, so it's like the key, but they are left in so the inmate can open it up. Well, I'm making it... I'm not gonna bother with that key thing or anything, I don't know about that, but... I do want to have these switches at each door here. So basically, everyone... Well, no, these switches are useless. You know what? I just don't... I mean, what? So we want the doors to start in the closed position. Is that it? You thought this game only was four player? No, you can have as many as you can. Seven friends. Yeah, that's what we're doing, Thomo Sapiens. That's well, that's the that was the um, the direction we're currently going in, anyway. The valve is a better handle than the screw. I mean, I don't know. I just find it. Uh, I mean, maybe you're right. Okay, <laughs> we'll switch it. Look at that. You put a suggestion in the chat, and it comes to life in front of your very eyes. Now this is interactive streaming. If you can't find eight friends, all the doors just stay locked. Officially, it's five players. Wow, so what, the devs probably have a a suggested uh, a suggested amount or something. Is that it? Take it back. With the jail theme, switches can't open the doors for the hiders. What? You have no friends that play scrap mechanic. Have it after 10 seconds, the doors will close and the timer starts. No, no, no. I don't want to rush people or anything like that. That's the thing, right? I kind of like it where it's just like as soon as the door opens, the, the cells close. I like it. If the seeker press the switch, the other doors open. No, because, I mean, people need to be able to get out, right? So this is going to be shut. Kind of ruins the theme, right? Hiders leaving should lock the cell. I don't know what you mean. Like, when they leave here, all the cell doors would close and shut behind them, right? That's kind of the plan. Get out of jail and start to hide and seek. Why would they make three plus minimum player video games? Because there's no way a gamer has more than one friend. <laughs> Can you take a look at the vulture? 
Uh, well, they don't really look all that nice. You know, they're not really designed for looks. It's more for the shadow. So this is going to be a door here that's going to open. Essentially, right? I think we can open it on a piston. Make it look fancy. The feels. A reveal all hiding spots button. Well, I would need a whole other system. Like the current logic system wouldn't, it wouldn't, uh, I don't think it would work. Would it? The front door opening the lock. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. That that certainly is the way to go. I think it's just so it's so clean and uncomplicated. So I'm just gonna make like a door like this. Nuke the map button. I mean, you could do that, in theory, right? I could, like, have a bunch of explosives wired up. Ready to blow. Imagine the lag on that, though. Oh, God. This map blowing up all at the same time. I dare not think about it. Okay, well, hold on here. I have to, uh... I need something... Uh, this, this piece, I guess, right? Yeah, that's the one. Just want everyone to have fun. You have a nuke end button puzzle on yours? Now that's one way to end a hide and seek challenge. Just pure self-destruct. Will there be some finish that will open if you press hidden buttons? Uh, we'll, we'll do some type of, uh, challenge ender, or whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, I'm in the right length here, right? There we go. Shanghai Noon. That's an old one. Uh, is that the cave? It always ends up that that is like the cave or something, but I think we're okay. Blow up the mine. Flapping doors fits better. Well, the, we have the saloon doors that are like flapping doors or whatever, so I feel like that's good enough. Oh, look at this. It's like perfectly in line with the cave system. It was meant to be. I think if we just go way down here, we'll have more than enough room. Someone just got pepper sprayed outside of your apartment building? Where do you live? Don't need to answer that. Okay, should have brought it down with me. Uh, well... It uh, maybe it doesn't matter, actually. We'll just put a controller here. Teleports you to Elden Ring. I don't think we can make that happen. I know there's mods and stuff for this game, but... Um, where's our door at? Right here. Almost as entertaining as you. 
I gotta step up my game here. You know, I gotta, I gotta, do I have to mace myself? Is that what I gotta do to entertain you guys? Okay, so we have a front door now. Right? That's a front door. So... So we need a switch for this. Now, I think this has to be this switch, doesn't it? It's a requirement, I think, that uh, anything in this game that requires a monumental switch... Got to be that one. Uh, I'm going to move those lights away from it a little bit, though. It is kind of annoying to see them there like that. So let's move them away. There we go. Starter switch right there. All right. See you later, Jachi. Right next to a hospital. Ah. Add a member's wall on the outside with members' names. I'm good, thank you. It's a great suggestion, though. Great suggestion. Can't miss it. Automatic hint system? What do you mean by automatic hint system? What the heck is that? Not enough likes. Do we need more likes here? Come on, people. What are you doing? I need... Do I have a button for this? Never mind. I don't have the like and subscribe button anymore. Do I even have it here anymore? Oh, there it is. It is here. Look at that. Read the full message. What do you mean? some yellow lights yeah but i don't want yellow lights because i think it's just like i don't want i just don't want that i want the the vivid wooden colors and textures you know oh you want me to read the the pog stuff at the end yeah no thanks just because you type it doesn't mean i'm gonna read it <laughs> okay so you spawn in, you come out here, you hit the switch, right? Do you want to see my, uh, I, I have manual logic. You guys are going to love this. Check this out. He wants the brown member wall of fame. So you hit the switch, right? This is called Moombo's Logic for Big Dum Dums. Such as myself. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Here we go. <laughs> you know. You can be a nerd if you want. But it's not required. Hit switch equal door open. Yeah, but I don't want them to be able to close the door. Right? There are, okay, I, there are logic blocks that are required. It's in the fine print. You do technically need one. Is this the starter switch right there? It's gotta be, right? Uh, I have it on right now. You see where this is going? I mean, this I've done this before. People have done this before. I'm not the first person to do this. I've done it before as well. And it works like a charm. Make the finger hit a button. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> That's almost like it. Mumbo forgetting about your big memory pack? I know I could use the memory pack. Have it in a memory bit so it is permanent. Yo, Blake, thank you for the super chat. I'm making my own memory bit. Check this out, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Blake, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Uh, whoops, I didn't do what I was set out to do, which was uh, turn the switch off. We're worried. Well, no, you don't be worried. I'll tell you when you need to worry, okay? Loving the hat. Can I put a hiding spot in the stairs in the sheriff's office? You think I should put a hiding spot in the stairs of the sheriff's office? Is that what you're telling me? Something like this, maybe. Like that. Oh, I gotta paint that. Whew. There you go. What about something like that? Does that sound good? Give a tour of the hiding spots later. I will be doing a full video that breaks down every single hiding spot as well as like the thought process behind some of the systems and stuff. So there will be a full-blown video. Is my chroma just the standard green? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a green. It's a green screen, yeah. So that... When's the video showing up how the logic of this place works? You really want me to try and make a video like that? Is that what you're telling me? Wild West documentary. This is historically accurate, actually. Right down to every single grain of sand, actually. So say what you want. I could probably have this all connected to the one logic block, but... Yeah, I guess it could just be set up to that one, right? I can't go too fast because it'll glitch out. Uh, we can actually just dis disconnect this to test. Well, this will be a little tester here, okay? See? What if Scrapman and Khan watch the video? I really don't care. Spud gun and cardboard block that is censored is a mechanical logic. Oh yeah, well that's what this is too, right? Because this has to actually be physically reset. Like this, you can't reset that without actually doing it. You gotta be careful of the speed though. Um, I think it, it's actually better to move out more than one, right? Now hook up three ore gates in a circle. Um, a blue flame, um, this is actually a triangle. Have I tested the logic in multiplayer? Uh, what do you mean, Mr. Tootie? Nothing, nothing's gonna change in multiplayer. Hey, Richard, good to see ya. Yeah, Fighter Baba, we talked about it a bit. I might just end up hiding only. You were about to make that joke? Does there need to be a reset function? Nope. Nope, there doesn't. Not necessary. If I want, I could make a circle. Well, I mean, we have to go through all of the different polygons first, right? I don't think we need to worry about any of that. I think the only difference here is if I want, I gotta make sure that this, because it has to extend quickly. Like ideally, you would have uh, max speed, right? Active if any of the triggers are active. So that and that, right? And then set this to two max speed. See, that's like very good. 
Andrea Olinsky, how's it going? Blackbird, good to see ya. Just try the ore gate loop. So where would I... I guess I just put a switch into anything. Is that what you're saying? And then so I would have like an output here. Is that something I would do? I'm just going through the motions, baby. Just going through the motions. Why can't you only say it is Nova Scotia drying out the vowel sounds? The best way would be a switch goes to all of the or gates and the oh, a switch goes to all of them. Like, so it would be fed in like the switch would go in like that. Is that right? Deletes the working logic just to have to rebuild it. Well, because I, that's not where I wanted it. That was my tester one, you see? This is the one I want. There's a massive difference between the one I want and the tester one. I didn't want that gross test piece. Piece of prototype. Hey, Alzor. So the switch can just go into all three of them. Ideally, is what you're saying right so i'm just gonna have a logic block here as kind of like my general output i guess like it doesn't really matter but i'm gonna have one going out like that and it is gonna be the one that goes to all the timers i think man i have to test all these timers now well you know what? we can just test them uh i don't remember which way they fill in from oh wait we can see the arrows actually never mind we can see the arrows on the connections that we made the rough draft. Exactly. You know, you gotta... You gotta... You have to, uh, you know, iterate. The process of iteration. I have an excuse for everything. How convenient. So these are going from the inside out. Uh, are they all just gonna go left to right? I think they're all just going left to right, aren't they? What, except for one? Is that right? Okay, whatever. We'll just be able to grab... Uh... Oh, I can't reach from here, can I? Damn it. Sorry for being late. Hey, no worries. No need to apologize. That triggers the thing. Olaf, thank you for the insightful, detailed <laughs> explanation. Okay, screw this. I'm making a hole in the ground. I'm sick of going up and over that wall. I'm sick of it. Don't want anything to do with it. Please, no cave. Okay. No cave. Does the challenge starter output a constant signal while the challenge is active? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Does it? I mean, I guess it must, right? I mean, would that just act as a logic? Like, I mean, what is it? What? Why would you need this as an output, I guess, right? Only to activate the challenge starter and it stays. Oh, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? You can't deactivate the challenge once it starts. Right? You're right. And when you're right, you're right. Well then. So that means... So wait, so all we need to do is put the switch in here like this. And that's it. My chair is slowly sinking. Plug it into the end of the two-minute timer. Yeah, exactly, right? I mean, that's, uh... That's the, uh, easier way to do this, isn't it? 
I never, I guess I just never realized maybe that, uh... I've never realized that it outputted a signal. I didn't know that. Built-in memory bit. I know, I just, I never knew. I, I never knew. The more you know. Hey, Noah? And you are always right? Ah, uh, I don't know about that. So the switch goes down, it's going up to the timers. That's that one. So this is the only one that's different, is it? Kind of hard to see, but... Yeah, so I'm connecting to this one here. It, it is different. I must be new. Maybe time for a new chair. <laughs> Preach into the choir, man. I know I need a new chair. Did I just mess something up? Oh, whoops, I'm an idiot. Wait. Yes, okay, there we go. That's right. That's why. Okay, why was I still trying? I knew it was the wrong way, and I'm still trying to connect it like it was the old way. Knowing is half the battle. Is it the chair? Am I shrinking? Look at this thing. Look at this. Look. It's got to go in the trash. Use an or logic between switches and the starter block. Yeah? Is that just... Uh... What's the point of that? Just don't... You, so you're saying just don't plug directly into it? Like at least have a logic block? Like that? We all get shorter with old age. <laughs> Mine is accelerated. Is that necessary? I don't know. That's why I'm at wondering. So multiple switches can be used to start, but we only need the one switch. I don't understand what you're talking about. We only, I only, we're only starting the challenge with the one switch. Because we're going to be able to test it now. Well, actually, not yet. Hold on. Not yet. Because this is only the timers anyway, right? Because this is going to open. Okay, you hit this switch. I wouldn't mind having a logic block here, maybe, just to, uh... Grab from the starter switch as well. Just so it's easier to connect up here to stuff. If it ain't broke, use duct tape. That's a completely fine chair. I mean, I am still sitting. I am currently sitting. So, therefore... I don't know what's going on here, but we're not going to touch any of this because I don't know why this is the way it is, but we're going to leave it that way. For all the different cells? No, Revco, we changed the starting system now. The way the system, the way the challenge is going to work is the Seeker just has to stay in their cell. So it doesn't matter how many Seekers, which cell they're in, just stay in the cell, any of the cells, honestly, it doesn't matter. Just stay in the cell, and then when you start the challenge, the door opens, and all of the um, all of the cell doors will close, right? It's looking real good for the explainer video. Wait, what was I referencing? So, hit the switch. So we need. Because we need to be able to start the timers consistently, right? But they need to end. This is where I need some logic. But I'm assuming... Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, actually. So I think... It, I'm assuming it's going to be easier for me to... Uh, I'm going to run the logic system... 
off of we'll do it the exact same way just to be safe uh, but i'm gonna run the uh the timers down here for the logic so that way i don't have to wire into a bunch of different timers i mean i could just wire into one of the ones up top there i guess but i think i'd prefer just to have uh, my timers here my god my chair I'm just squatting. I got legs of steel, baby. Just use two one-minute timers. Okay, fine. You party poopers. Want spoilers? It's done using only one gate. I, well, I mean, I'm, I don't really care about exactly two minutes. If it's two minutes and one second, I really don't care. So that's two minutes. And then we put the logic block here. Right? That goes here into that. Active, uh, if, is it just active if only one of the link triggers is active? Oh crap, I just started the timer. Is that it? Is it as simple as that? It should extend from the challenge starter. Well, I mean, I guess I have it extending from the switch, but I suppose you're right. It sh oh yeah, because we want the constant output, right? Constant output. It starts the timer. Two minutes. It goes back. And then only one active, right? All right, see you later, Baba. Oh my God, my chair won't stop right now. One on one minute and 59 seconds and 39 ticks. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. That's fine. The way it is. So, so that means now that this is going to... Okay, so we didn't need all of these controllers anymore. Uh, we don't need all these anymore, right? We only need one. One to control them all. One controller to rule them all. Because all the doors are going to open and close at the same time, so... You love the fact that I always read out the condition of the gate. What time is it over there? Oh, uh, let's have a look, shall we? Where is the old clock at? Look, there it is. 16.23. Uh, there is also a command if you ever in the future want to know you can just type exclamation point time um okay so where was i one controller right all we need is the one it's gonna be a lot easier it's gonna be a lot easier to do it this way than the way we had originally planned and, the, and it's the exact, like, we're achieving the same thing. It's all that matters. It's 420. It's 420 somewhere. So they start closed, right? They start in the closed position. So I guess by default then what we will do, they start in the closed position, so we will by default open them all up, right? We're gonna open them up to start. So in hindsight now I realize we could have just left them in the open state uh, by default, that's okay. Two, three, 2,396 ticks. We do like to do it official here, don't we? 
Two, three, nine, six. Wait, what? It's still wrong. It doesn't go that high. Oh, I see what you mean. Two, three, nine, six. There we go. I'm an idiot. So that's perfectly two minutes. Two, three, nine, seven. Okay, now at this point, I might have to time you out, Blue Flame. That's enough. <laughs> Actually, you can time yourself out. I don't think that would open up a black hole or anything, but... Worth a shot. No, we haven't done any of the targets yet. No. I'm thinking there's either going to be one or two more streams on this build after. One or two more. Probably two more. But you can shut up for five minutes. Yo, the guy with the five dollar super chat. Coming in angry. What's he got to say? Old man yelling at the clouds here, it seems like. Hello, angry. You have not made me angry yet. And yet, I feel at peace and complete. And then I am angry that I am not angry. And then I am calm. Ra ah ah. <laughs> the guy, thank you for the super chat. I'm sorry, I'm just in a friendly, happy mood today, you know? Just in a friendly, happy mood. So what's gonna happen is... Uh, this... Yeah, we want this block, right? I think it's this one to here. Let's test this. Let's see if it works. Yeah, thank you so much, the guy. I appreciate that. Friendly neighbor moon neighborhood moonbow. So all the cells are open, right? I was in my cell. I was allowed to leave. No problem. All the cells closed. put you in a paradox <laughs> so we're gonna wait two minutes so how are you guys doing anyway we got two minutes to wait here a minute and a half any big plans this weekend I think me and Jado we're gonna go to the driving range again we're gonna go to the driving range again this weekend maybe go out for lunch Oh, there's another little hiding spot right here, too. Technically. Going boating? Whoa! You don't have weekends, you're poor. You'll be working, is that what you're saying? You want to be good at golfing? Hey, one ball at a time, right? One ball at a time. If you don't return the tablet, it will crumble to sand. Name on map. So right now, if I turn this off, nothing's going to happen, right? Well, okay, let me test. I'll test that after. Let's just do the two-minute test here. Make sure that the... Um, everything's lining up here. Everything's going to be good. Two minutes, all the doors open. Am I exploring my own map? Uh, not right now. Right now, I'm just testing the starting system. Or the seeking. Oh, wait, I gotta open the door there, too. I didn't... That's another thing we gotta do. We gotta open the front door and the side escape right there. Okay, four seconds. Three, two, one. I screwed up. I screwed up. If the gold is there. <laughs> Failure to launch. You got that right. I 
I mean, so realistically, is it, wait, the constant output. See, yeah, that's what I thought the constant output, is that not a problem from the, to have the constant output? Is that not a problem? Turn the timer run when the seeker runs free. No, the timer starts the moment the challenge starts. Hey, YOLO, good to see ya. Seventeen charges of attempted murder. Seventeen charges of attempted murder. God, I suck apparently. Geez, seventeen times. Maybe eighteen will be the lucky number. From the first gate to the last one, not the way you did. Is that what I did? Did I? Is it not? Okay, I can't reach from there. Is it? Did I connect the wrong logic gate? Horrible at murder, I know. Just hook an AND gate into a NOR gate should work better. Told me about that mistake five minutes ago. Why, you didn't even know about it until right now. There's no way. There's no way. You're making stuff up in hindsight right now. Because <laughs> here's what it is, right? This is basically what I made, right? Something like this. It's literally just something like that, right? The way you can like turn something on and off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just do a low value test here, I think, right? I just, I think it's, it might be the, it's this constant output, isn't it? Still learning logic in this game. Oh, I will probably help if you hook some stuff up. Probably help a little bit if you hook stuff up together so that it works. Shut up, everybody! Just everybody shut up! Hey, gaming cliche, good to see you. I know, I know, I know how to play the game. You guys are telling me exactly what I already know. Okay, um... So, for the sake of testing, um... Let's just... Okay, let's just drop this down. To like 10 seconds so basically what we're gonna do is test it's gonna be a 10 seconds everything should work timer is not hooked into the door oh i'll do that after that's fine i'm i'm worried about these uh systems first so what 10 seconds is that what it was okay they all shut for the sake of testing yeah here's how to play the game there you go is it going to close? Are they going to close again after 10 seconds or no? No, okay, perfect. There you go. Oh, no, they did close again. So they're going to keep flip-flopping, aren't they? They're going to keep on opening and closing and opening and closing. But we don't want that. See, that's why I didn't want the... Uh... Oh, God damn it! I just... Did I save... Can you, oh yeah, you save and test. That's right, oh my god. You save and then you test. <laughs> Thank the Lord that you have to save before you test. Don't worry, I saved before the test. My heart sank for a moment. Hook a timer into an XOR memory bit. I think, is that what Blue Flame just said? So, okay, here we go, hold on. Oh, I have a hole here, never mind. Unless I choose to didn't save. I think you have to, to you have to save and test. If you want to test, you must save. So start. 
Oh, so it's the start into the timers? Oh yeah, that's right. It's the start into the timer. Let's just redo this. I can't believe I forgot to hook that up. I'm sure you guys can. Imagine. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. I mean, we didn't lose that much today. It still would have sucked. Hey, Pikachu, how's it going? Lawrence, hey there to ya. It's only on exit game. Even on exit, if you try and exit here, it will ask you to save. Um, okay, so. Timer. Logic. So like that, right? So the start to the timers, X or. And then start to X or as well. And then that goes to the controller. Yeah, losing progress in uh, in challenge mode, they've done a good job of that. It's really tough to lose progress. Logic blocks could be a whole subject in school. Well, I mean, people go to school for that stuff. They, they, it's a it's a whole uh, I'm sure it's a whole degree. <laughs> Computer sciences. Just saying random. What I don't just say random words. Banana. Okay, uh, let's just test again with uh, like a 10 second rough timer here. That should be it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was saying. It's literally computer science. But I think I know what you're saying, though. It's something that they could put into like high school and junior or like junior high and stuff like that. Like kids these days are so smart. The technology at their fingertips. I mean, maybe they do have that kind of stuff in junior high and high school and stuff now. I don't know. OK, doors close. And then after about 10 seconds, they should open again. And now we're just going to confirm that they do not close again. That's why Khan's good in it. He worked in robotics. Yeah, he did. Okay, it looks good. Everything's staying open now, right? Chalkboard and books. No fun lessons. Yeah, I grew up with chalkboards. But I mean, it was fun, though. I remember... Okay. I remember when, so I, you know, chalkboards, chalkboard, you're going through school, it's all chalkboards. Does anyone, I, I, if you're my age anyway, or around my age, do you remember when they switched from, when they started switching the chalkboards out for whiteboards? Like, that was a big deal. It was a big deal to go from chalkboards to whiteboards. I mean, I remember it being a big deal. It was weird. It was crazy. Didn't have to go out and wash the chalk off of anything anymore. Ah. Uh, I remember. Chill robotics, dude. The marker formula. You went to the digital ones? Yeah, I did not have digital. What the hell? From chalk to oil based? Why? Well, apparently I think that there is a lot to say about air quality in the classroom when you're using um, non-chalk related items. But not to say that yes, using more petroleum products does not help other situations, obviously. Hey, Ark Survival. 
Do we have an official name as a group? No, we don't. There was a time when we first started YouTube where we were like, we gotta come up with a group name. It never happened. And uh, I think we're okay for that. <laughs> I'm just gonna do... I'm just doing the full two minutes. I don't care. We're gonna go full two minutes because that's how I have the timers in there set up, so... This is how it's gonna work, okay? Okay, guys? Uh, okay, hold on. This controller up there... The one that's using the, the hole in the floor one... Uh, we can get rid of that. The Moon Mans. All right, the guy, no need to drum up any type of, uh, any type of stuff like that, all right, man? Not here. Um, so, I'm just gonna hook this piston to that controller there. It's out by five on default, retracts, so I'm waiting. I'm not really waiting for anything. I just hook that there, right? The timers in there are two zero zero seven five. I don't care. I don't care about the time. Please, blue, stop, uh, stop accosting me with these microseconds. <laughs> <laughs> because because you know me and you're like oh if i say this he's gonna be like okay well i guess i better fix that i better change that gotta make it official <laughs> there's a slight delay with multi hooked up timers and logic i mean the thing is, it only matters that everyone who's seeking has the same time to wait. Who cares if it's two minutes or two minutes and one millisecond? As long as every seeker is waiting the same amount of time, it's good to go. All right, so let's save and test this again. Let's do it again. Here in Hungary, we use chalkboards and whiteboards simultaneously. We use whiteboard more. Well, I remember, I mean, because I remember it was a transition period. Like I was saying, it didn't, they didn't just come into the school and change all of the uh, chalkboards to whiteboards. They didn't do that. It was a process. I still need my hole. Uh, so what do I... Can I not start off of... Do I need to maybe, uh... Pass it through like that? We're still on the timing? What do you mean? Okay, there we go. Okay, I guess I want... Okay, I do want a top piece there of wood to cover that bottom section. Okay, so that's kind of... Yeah. Well, why don't... Okay, actually... Yeah, I'll just do it like this. I don't think I need to worry too much about... Yeah, that works for me. That looks good. Rolling in a projector to class? I remember that. I remember whoever... Because it was like there's one desk, right? There's the one desk that was like in the middle of the class. So you had like the overhead... Uh, the What are they called again? I... I know most things in French, so I don't know them in English, but... Those, uh, the acetate projectors, you know what I mean? The sheet of paper that was transparent. 
I just remember there was like whoever was sitting in the middle of the class always had that on their desk and it was their job whoever was sitting at that desk every time the teacher would like point at them they had to like flip the paper over or put a different sheet on it <clears throat> still thought I was debating on the timers logic not an overhead oh yeah that's what it's called right an overhead projector Rolling in the TV. I mean, that was a 50-50, right? Rolling in the TV, because it's like, oh, man. They're bringing the TV in. We're watching a movie, and it's like, no. It, well, it's a movie. That's a hour-long documentary on the most boring thing you could ever imagine. Hey, I want to add a couple hiding spots. So I think we got the starter system done, right? Literally just a light and a mirror. Yeah, overhead projectors. Those are pretty cool, honestly. Does anyone here agree that it's almost unacceptable that we don't have a single hiding spot out here on this front balcony? Not the top one, anyway, but the front por porch here. We should probably have a hiding spot here. Maybe right in the front. Oh, is there a cave here? Hold on. Bill Nye, ya boy. I used to watch a lot of Bill Nye, the science guy, when I was a kid. Oh, there is no cave here. Perfect. We can add a hiding spot here. Stab the eraser with your pencil. I, I did it once, pretty much. I hated doing it. I, I don't know why, but I was the kind of person that, like, if I had, like, pencils or erasers, like, I hate. I didn't like destroying them. You know, there were some kids or, like, there were some kids that would, like, chew on their pencils and stuff and, like, you have bite marks in it. You ever borrow a pencil from someone before and they give you a pencil that's literally been chewed up like a piece of corn on the cob? The hell's wrong with you people? Hey, Mr. Yanni. Good to see you. The whole house lifts up. I mean, we've been getting those suggestions. I don't think we're going to be lifting up an entire house. Watching a black hole. Or let someone borrow a pencil and it came back chewed. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Erasers are for eating, nothing else. Stop. Get some help. Uh, uh. So this is gonna be a nice little hiding spot here, actually. Um, because I'm not gonna have to use a layer of sand for once. You chewed pens. Shooting to eraser with your ruler. <laughs> the whole floor disappears. Uh, this is gonna be a simple hinge. Simple bearing hinge standard. Uh, we're gonna make sure. Hopefully, it um, hopefully it doesn't give us any lines or seams. That's gonna be an important thing. Do a water bill for the horses in front. Do a hiding spot in there. Well, we have one right off to the side here, Till. Uh, one of the like uh, one of the tipped over barrels there. We don't want too many of the same hiding spot. Well, were you were you, some of you guys were you some of you guys glue eaters is that what I was just a normal kid nerdy geeky kid with glasses uh, what am I doing here controller See, look at that, all right? 
Turning your pen into a pea shooter. Glue sniffing. Where would a button go for this spot? I feel like a button here could maybe just go... Uh, like, this one doesn't have to be complicated, right? Like, maybe it's just as simple as putting it right there. I mean, that's kind of obvious, though, isn't it? Like, when you see it from any other angle... Story verified from Mambo? Wait, which story? A board game club? Uh, when I was a kid, I was in the chess club. I was in the chess club. I used to play a lot of chess. <laughs> Around the lights? Hmm. The sweet, sweet Play-Doh? Don't you mean salty? That salty, salty Play-Doh. <laughs> You play chess? Put it on uh, the upper bit? Like what? You mean like way up here? Like up here somewhere? Nah, that's too far. Save it for dinner with the family tonight. <laughs> Where do we hide this button? Where can we put this button? That's so obvious. I mean, we could maybe have more clutter. Oh, what about just actually? Yeah, whoa, whoa, hold on. Somewhere down here. Ooh, that's it. Look how hard it is. There you go. Okay, yeah, that's the spot right there. Okay, got it. Yeah, love to see it. You have a glass chessboard? Sweet sounded better. I know it sounded better, but... At least focus on the reasons why we eat Play-Doh, right? Really only need the one bearing. Ah, whatever. I'll just have them both hooked up. It's fine. We're going to do a 75 degree opening. Redo everything. You're going to suggest that spot. The one right at the front entrance of the saloon? I just, I realized that we didn't have a single hiding spot. Um, just like out in the front of the saloon. I mean, like, like I said, we have that barrel one that's next to it, but that's not the same. Red, green, yellow, moon group. The red, green? Well, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Anybody? Red, green? No? Do I have an under staircase hiding spot? Yes, I do. Multiple of them, technically. <laughs> What's the view like in that spot? Well, we're gonna find out eventually here. Don't worry. One thing at a time. So there, like that. And that's gonna open it as well, right? There it is, beauty. You sometimes watch the Red Green Show? It's an old show, it's an old one. Under, under staircase hiding spot. Hey Verstappen, good to see you. Make a water tower and put a spot in it. Almost like this water tower here, eh? The one with the spot in it. 
Is chess a hobby of mine or am I done with it? Uh, I haven't, I mean, there was a little while, maybe last year when I played chess for a little while on uh, chess.com. I played it a little bit, but uh, I haven't played it in a while. This should be a decent view, right? It should be. I could bring up some sand with it. No, that should be a fine view. Let's test this out. I think it should be a fine view. Or good enough. Can't get too picky. 12 more spots. Your 2000 yellow rated buddy. Blue Flame, what are you going around just bragging about your friend and plays good in chess? Is that what you're doing? Oh, this goes too far down. So that's something to note. I could just build it up higher, I guess, but... You stink at chess. God at Connect 4. <laughs> It's a pretty good view, honestly. Like, I don't think, uh... I don't think you're gonna need a much better view than this, right? Like, it's good enough. Any chance for a chess stream? Mm, probably not. Don't forget to paint. Paint what? That looks like a good spot. Friends build each other up. Wormhole chessboard for a 3D printer. Trippy. I've seen those 4D chessboards. Have you ever seen those? Like the one where it's like chess, but on like three different levels. No idea how that would ever work. I've never studied it or learned about it or anything. I just know that it's pretty rad. Pretty badass way to play chess if you have. <laughs> I almost said that with a straight face. A, the sun made it look like a spot that wasn't painted. Oh. Nice touch with the mat at the door for the saloon. Yeah, like we got some dirty foot footprints in there. Some little dirt on the mat. The Seeker can shoot the sand in front of the last spot. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, what would happen? Yeah, you would technically be able to see them. I'm okay with that. That's fine by me. You would totally watch me play chess. Probably not means there's a chance. I mean, everything in this universe has some type of finite chance, I'm sure, but... I don't know about that one. Quantum chess? I mean, I can theorize what it is. You haven't seen a chess setup like that in a long time? Oh, the three floor one, or the three level one? Let's take a step back here. Look, it's like a map. Mini map. You would like to watch me play chess. The thumbnail shot right there. The Queen's Gambit Moonbow Edition. Yes. I, me in chess was groundbreaking. I changed the game forever. Ever since I was a wee little four-eyed lad. FPS chess. Can you show the signs on the buildings real quick? Well, we got to add a sign on the uh, sheriff's office here, right? He's got the money sign, gunsmith, uh, general store, as well as saloon. Uh, but I need to add... What should this say here? Jail. I guess just jail, right? Hey, Sweaty, good to see you. I think I'm just going to do jail. How does that sound? Just go straight to jail. 
J. Give me an A. Give me an I. Give me an L. What's that spell? Why money sign? It's a bank, isn't it? Well, if it upsets you, then I'm not going to be changing it, that's for sure. Seems like more of a prison. That's a lot of cells for a small town jail. And then I can use my fancy S. I'm not using S. Right, letter size. Cell block H. <laughs> jail, that's not how you spell jail. Isn't it just J the Jado Gambit? No one expects the Jado Gambit. Uh, I think it's easier for me to actually mount this to a, a wall of wood. I might give the eye a little more... Uh... Oh, that's not where... That's not the next letter anyway. You, I, you guys almost have me misspelling it too. I just... I wonder if it's worth... Uh... Should I make the eye... No, I guess we're just gonna stick with this size. When do you make a barrel of nitroglycerin? What are you talking about? Jelly? English is stupid. Geol! Boy, I'm never asking you guys how to spell anything ever again. Um, my inventory is a mess. Get me off center a little bit, but that's okay. Dynamite sticks when? Shouldn't that be silver or wooden? Well, I don't know. I'm not making up the rules. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, good. <laughs> I almost just destroyed that. That should be seven, right? A um, tumbleweed. I tumbleweed. Tumbleweed Town kind of sounds good, right? I kind of like it. The old Tumbleweed Town. Jail. Why not Sheriff? Because the, it's not Sheriff, it's the Sheriff's Office. And I am not making all those, I'm not gonna be grabbing those letters. Our Sheriff's Office. Too much. Trying when you were going to make a barrel of dynamite TNT. I am not completely against an explosive on this map. I've thought about it more and more, but I realize it's going to be a giant lag spike. So I, I think I still need to say no to that. Tumble town, tumble town. I mean, maybe. A mod that prevents you from mass deleting a controller or logic part by asking you with a um, modal if you really want that. I mean, that, that could be interesting. I mean, if it was like something that you could like go up to something and then click on it and then it would like turn it into a, like a protected element or something. Hey, Floof. That looks so funny. It's just so small. Um, well, we're not we're just brainstorming various ideas right now when it comes to I think tumbleweed town is what I'm gonna go with the American dream So I want 
We have a hiding spot there in the middle. I need another hiding spot somewhere here. You know what I mean? Hmm. Need a, a do nothing machine to distract the seeker. But the thing is, the seeker could be in any one of these cells, right? And because of that, I can't really, uh, I can't fully design around that. Because it's abandoned. Whoa. Whoa, some deep stuff. Box under the sand. Just make one and put it in all the cells. I mean, what would I even... I don't even know what I would put. I don't really feel like putting all that time and effort into that. Maybe. I'm not against it. It's just I don't know what I would put. I have no idea what I would even imagine putting there. <laughs> no problem, bro. But, bro... My nose... Is itchy. It's gotta be the cat hairs. It's gotta be the cat hairs. A robot that oh, for when I'm hiding. <laughs> Make one of the holes a spot in the central bit. Yeah, that's that is where the cave is. You're right. I could put another hiding spot around here. I think. Something to fidget with while waiting isn't a bad idea. No, I know. I don't I don't disagree with that. It's just I don't know what I would even put. Cat. Cat cats are love. Except for when you have their hair in your nose. I think I put a hiding Oh wait, ooh, okay, hold okay, we need to kind of finish. This is just a... Okay, so this is non... Non-switch related hiding spots. So this is... Okay, this is the drop-down area here. From the... Uh, sheriff's office, right? A spinning duck. Is it that simple? You stole the pickaxe for your own map? <laughs> but I need that pickaxe back. There we go. You press a button, he pops up and spins. I don't know. Pickaxe is copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, that's a good pickaxe, all right. They don't make it much better than that, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, uh, Dirk, I think the plan is to, if I, if I play with them, I'll probably end up, uh, hiding and not seeking, potentially. I mean, we'll have to see, obviously, but there's just, there are different ways we're gonna be having to do it, I think, because I've made the map, and I know where all the hiding spots are. A DeLorean hidden in a cave? I mean, maybe. Because I do know that I need to add the uh, the targets that you can break so that you can end the challenge. I need to add that stuff at some point, but... Yeah, I think the cave is... Oh, actually, no, the cave is over there. There's no cave right here, is there? Yeah, there's no cave here. Hmm. 
copyright my beard hair. What the heck? No, okay. I can't... I don't think I'm going to be able to do the sand one. I had an idea for a sand hiding spot. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Maybe if they don't give as many hints or at all. I, we talked about that before, Chicken. And the problem with that is if I'm, if I'm not getting hints from them... I mean, obviously, that's going to pinpoint where they are. But the, the alternative to me not getting hints is... Uh, is essentially me methodically going through every single hiding spot in my map, you know? And I don't want to do that. Put a switch in the tumbleweed leading to a hiding spot. Oh, we've got some of those already. It's a bit convoluted. Yeah, I mean, there's different ways we'll be able to do it, but... I know some people have been suggesting that I use some of these, uh, the nuts and stuff like that for some more rocky landscape. So I figured why not come in here and, uh, give it a little bit more of a natural rocky kind of look to it. Makes a difference. You're cooked. Hey, Mad Michael, it's going good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? Okay, there are hiding spots back here. I can't ruin. I can't forget about that. The screws that hold the cave together. <laughs> yes, do not trust the engineering, by the way. I mean, that's pretty much where the only rocky... Okay, I guess there are technically some rocky parts in here a little bit. I just... I'm, I'm avoiding putting these directly on sand, because if you break the sand block, then you just have a loose nut. Nobody wants a loose nut. Why not put a hiding spot in the wall? Which wall? There's probably, like, 50 walls here. a box on the back of a wagon for a spot yeah i guess the wagons weren't really designed all that well for hiding spots on the inside i don't think i had room i tr i think i tried to make it work i think i tried to make it work and it wasn't you could put yeah that it would change the sand texture as well unfortunately a posse that starts shooting you with spud guns Am I excited about getting this map out or a little sad? I mean, no, I'm excited to get the map done. Absolutely, yeah. Because I want to move on to the next project. I'm kind of ready to move on to the next project. I've I've done a lot of what I want to do here. Uh, we do need some more hiding spots. So maybe a couple more. Oh, that's one thing I was thinking of doing. Was adding sand... Uh, I'm going to add some sand piles here in the middle a bit more. Stuff like this, maybe. Uh, this is just going to help, I think, with... I mean, because a lot of people have mentioned that this is flat. I mean, it's a very flat map. I'm not going to lie. It's a flat map. And uh, I think I've learned a lot about map making for hide and seek and stuff like that. And the next time I make a hide-and-seek map, we're going to take a lot of that information and a lot of that learning, and we're going to bring it with us. I don't think so, Mackler. I checked right here. I didn't put it right there, so it's fine. Hints only given at 10 minute, minute 10? I mean, that still is the same problem of me just methodically going through hiding spots until I get them, you know? So yeah, we're gonna get just some, some random sand piles here. I mean, that makes a big difference. It honestly does, right? Adding these random kind of like... What's the word? Some dunes? I mean, they're not really sand dunes, I guess, but the effects of sand blowing in the wind, you know? 
Do I have cactus hiding spots? Uh, Jeremy, we do have a... I think we only have... Well, no, actually, we don't. There is technically no hiding spots underneath a cactus. Technically. We have a button that's near a cactus right here. That opens this up. But that's technically not a cactus spot. Hey, Scott. Good to see you. Have hints, just not location-based. I hide all three rounds and never seek. I think that's pretty much how it's going to have to go, Dead Tool. I think you're right. Try and make it look somewhat organic, you know? I mean, it's. I think it's a tough thing to do in this game. Uh, make things look organic. But you try your best. He'll pretend to be a cactus. I don't think that's a good strategy, but he could try. See, look at the, the amount of like detail that it kind of adds already just adding little sand piles like this is crazy it adds a lot of character if it's coloring is good maybe I like having this sand build up around the buildings and stuff like this is really nice. Gotta break up those horizontals. You make it look simple as the map is great. Oh, I see. Wedges for the sand piles? No, I'm not gonna do that. Remember, the sand is destructible, right? So I have to be conscious of that. Having these sand piles here might actually help hide uh, that cactus button a little bit better, too. Hiding spot in one of the stone walls. Um, I've kind of done that. I might do something more with that, maybe. Kind of iffy on it, though, but it's not a bad idea. I mean, I've definitely... Because uh, I, I have one here like this. It's one of these, like, fake ones. Where is it? Just like this, right? There is technically a wall spot right there. I'm just, I'm trying not to just have a door in the wall, you know? I want the perimeter to be the perimeter, you know? And everything, all the gameplay happens within it. Generally, anyway. There are obviously a couple exceptions, but... Yo, none of your business. Good to see ya. No, not yet, Garrett. I have not done that yet. I think there's probably gonna be at least... I was saying there's gonna be one more stream for this game... Uh, for this challenge. Maybe one more after that. But I could see this being done by the end of next week. Wall feels like outside map spot. It kinda does, yeah. But I think it'll be done by next week sometime. How do you get to this? See, I don't even remember how to get to this spot. Oh, it's that one. <laughs> I was never going to remember that. This is the hammer one. Okay, yeah, I was never going to remember. Can't wait to see this map completed. Yeah, it's going to be good. In the wall in the ravine. Yeah, technically, you're right. I mean, this is... Yeah, you're pretty right, actually. We do kind of extend into the walls a little bit there but the ravine is like its own thing because the ravine is the walls right 
So we'll count that as something different. <laughs> Looks like a Roblox map. I'll take that as a compliment. Trying to get some sand around here a little bit more, too. Roblox Town? No. <laughs> just seek? It's not that I'm not going to remember my own spots. It's just all it takes is, like, that slight little jog of my memory, you know? And once that's done... Oh, did I never do the corner? Oh, I never did the corner here. Oh yeah, once my memory is jogged, you know, it's like, oh, okay, you guys are screwed. <laughs> oh man, I am getting really hungry. It's hitting me out of nowhere, like a train. I don't even know what I'm going to eat for lunch today, to be honest with you. Is that... Isn't that a hiding spot where you put sand near the railway cart? What? The spot is literally right here. Right there. Food! You've been given some good news! Lay it on us, Gareth! You just had Frankendales with potato gratin? What are Frankendales? Red dynamite sticks? Yeah, I mean... The only thing with the dynamite stick thing is that, like, it just doesn't really... You can't really make a pile of them, you know what I mean? And you can't lay them on the ground without them being loose. Like, it's hard to tell that that's dynamite. I mean, I guess maybe if we put one on the, like, like not actually laying down, but it kind of made it look like it was lying down. But see, no, then it floats. We've, tr we've tried the dynamite. Burgers. They're doing something, Gareth. I'm glad to hear that you are uh, not getting completely screwed over. Happy to hear that. I mean, uh, despite the, the circumstances uh, with everything going on, you know, it might sound weird to be like, oh, happy to hear that. But yeah, <laughs> with everything that's gone on, I think that's a fair thing to say. Uh, glad to hear that, though, because that's messed up, man. It's messed up. Add the dynamite to the wall as if it was drilled and put in there ready to explode. Yeah, but see, then you're going to be like, okay, now add the explosives, Moombo. Okay, now blow it up. <laughs> That's how it always goes with explosives. Just dynamite sticks inside of boxes. A barrel of TNT. Or just like label it. I just, I don't think I can really make a box of this stuff, guys. I, I've tried. You know what I'm saying? I've tried. Oh, God, the tumbleweed. <laughs> Whoops. Stay away from the tumbleweed. But you can't ignite red pipes. Yeah, I don't know. I've tried it. The TNT just ain't gonna work, people. When the tumbleweed strikes back. <laughs> I gotta keep my eyes on that tumbleweed. Yeah, I've, I've wanted dynamite. I have wanted TNT of some sort, but... 
At the very least, we can always at least add like a gas can, right? Make it, I mean, it looks like it fits here. Right? Something off your chest that's been on your mind for the last month. I can only imagine, man, the stress and stuff that comes with something like that. Like I said, I'm happy to hear it's um, at least going in the right direction. Try and do one box of dynamite. I mean, let's try. All right, fine, fine, fine. Oh, God, the tumbleweed. <coughs> I just swallowed my spit. Excuse me. The tumbleweed goes up and over. Look at this. It rolls over it. <laughs> that made me choke on my spit for a second. <laughs> That's funny. That's some good tumbleweed. See, how can I make a box of dynamite? There's just no way. See how high it goes? What do you mean? It's not gonna go any higher than that. It, it's gotta roll. Like, if I just do this, it's just gonna stop it. It tr it tried. It really did try. Put sand over the tumbleweed course. Actually, you're right. What would happen then if we add some sandy spots like this? No, it's too risky. Did you see the way it skipped there? No, as cool as that is... That's very risky. I think that's very risky and not worth the uh, the potential damage it might cause. Right? Does this look like a box of TNT? Or does this look like a weird barbecue? Wedges for the solution? No. Bar I know, this looks like a barbecue. I'm telling you, I've tried this. I've tried it. Make them stand upright. But then they're just like... I don't know, it just doesn't really... Like, look at the size of this box. You know what I'm saying? Look at the size of this box. And for what? For four sticks of dynamite? The bigger pipe? The bigger pipe? Hey, Zeradox, good to see you. The wife wants to play some survival. We'll have fun. See what I'm saying? Like, this is just... I've tried, people. I've tried. All right, we've tried. We gave it our... our the old college try. It's not happening. That looks fine. No, no, it's it, we're overcomplicating a stack of dynamite. We don't need it. I'm telling you, we don't need it. Start at the bottom and pyramid more. Yeah, I know, I know. We're not doing it, guys. I'm sorry. I tried. Huh? I can get rid of a bunch of this stuff here. I never noticed that stick out like that before. Huh. Oh, it's kind of like it on this side, too. Well, I'm glad I'm seeing this now. There we go. That looks better. Oh, well. I mean, this is not, it's not going to be that good. Supper is ready. Okay, Mambo, enjoy your supper. Love you. It's making me getting kind of hungry here as well. 
I want to add at least one more hiding spot before we call it here today. We got to add one more hiding spot here, people. One more hiding spot today. Where are we going to put it? You're hungry too? Yeah, me too. Cool map, thank you. There is a long shadow on the left corner of the canyon. Oh, this one. Like that. Hey, Wandering Fox. Extended a bit. Top of the mine? A new one in the graveyard? There is nothing on the top of the mine. Well, I mean, we have one in the back here. Somewhere. We got one at the back of the mine. We don't have one on the top of the mine. I don't think we can make it happen, though, because, I mean... I don't know. This is neat. Well, thank you, boredom. Put a hiding spot in the graveyard. Well, we have multiple. There are already multiple hiding spots here. Do I have hiding spots leading to all the attics yet? Uh, well, there's only technically two attics, right? There's this attic here. That's one of the attics. And then if you want to, you can count the, uh, the top of the, um, the top of the, uh, church here is considered an attic as well, but hiding spot behind the jail sign. Turn it around and reveal another text prison. Must be hard to get to as the alternative sign could be giveaway. Yeah, that's something. I mean, that would technically be like a rooftop hiding spot, though. And I think we want to try and avoid that. Cover that up. I think a cactus one. You know what? I think, yeah, cactus field or another cactus-related hiding spot. What about this cactus right here? Nah, too close to the piston. Should it be in the field? One of the wagons? I've already talked about how I don't really have the space for that. You know just the not connected timers and was yelling at me? Well, where were you when we needed you the most, Wandering? Can we suggest hiding spaces? Yeah, I'm opening the floor to you guys right now. Throw some suggestions. A thick cactus you can hide inside? That is going to be so painfully obvious. No, I can't. We can't have the chonky cactus or anything. There, there, we can't just have one cactus, like all these cacti, and then there's that one cactus, old Jimmy Bob, the cactus that just had to be different. That one cactus by the building. This one? Well, there's a spot right behind it, so... There's a spot there, spot there. I think... It, it, this is the cactus right here. This is where the spot should be. You can be under the cactus. Make a big one, but it's not a spot. Well, I was going to say we'd go... I mean, it's just... I guess... A part of me is kind of like... Isn't it kind of lame after a certain while... To just have the floor open up and you hide it in the ground. You know what I mean? Like, like a spot's like this. Like, there's that spot, right? You can hide there. I'm sure there are others that I can't remember. I mean, I guess it's all the same, right? It's all hiding. What is the nearest hiding spot to the starting area? Uh, Lazy Green, there is one in the starting area, actually. Hiding spot inside a hiding spot. We've done that, actually. We did do that. If you can, put them in a box and paint them red. There you go, TNT. Oh, the glow sticks. Now, they... They, um... They don't really look... You know, they don't paint very well. They don't really look like dynamite. I know what you're seeing, though. Would the audio be the same? I think so, Garrett. I think the audio from a spud gun is the same uh, localized to, like, where it originated from. Big cactus has a red herring. 
It would be a balancing giveaway for the seeker. Make one in the mountain. I think that maybe we could have a rooftop spot here as well. Button on a cactus to open them, the train car. You like this music track? Uh, yeah, uh, Revco, if you're looking for the song specifically, uh, this song that we're listening to is called Cyber Samurai. Why do I eat Play-Doh? <laughs> because it's salty, obviously. And there's flour in it, you know? I mean, Play-Doh is basically just unbaked bread, right? Did I do one in the walls? I'm trying to avoid uh, that unknown. There's a couple kind of like that, but... I have an idea. I have an idea. So I will be doing the cactus one. That's the suggestion. We're gonna do the cactus one. But I have an idea. What if this opens up stairs? Actually, we'll do, um... Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna make stairs here. Because it's amazing. Very light parkour here. Just like that. The changing sign will be a different hiding mechanism as well. Hidden room with a turning bookshelf type of piece. Or type of place. Now well, maybe. That's a cool idea about the stairs. I'm stealing this one from some uh, some of the hide and, se hide and seek maps. Uh, some of the hide and seek maps that are on uh, the workshop have some really cool ideas. Okay, I have to cover this. Uh, is it easier to do one piston? Hmm. Stairway to heaven. Well, I think, Bear, the thing about the hidden spots on the rooftops was that the rooftop spots just had to be... They had to be done right. You know what I mean? I don't... Okay, you know what? No, I want to make sure I have at least a certain length here, so I'm going to get rid of these. No! Yeah, I'm just going to extend them a couple more. Keep that friction bug in mind. Um, yeah, hopefully that's not too bad. Wait, yeah, hopefully that's not too bad, right? I don't know if it's a material thing or what, though. Did I see? Yes, unknown. I have the custom. Are you talking about the custom game challenge mode? How much is he paying you to come here and talk about it? Elevator to the water tower comes out of the ground, but it's not another ground hiding spot. Secret parkour? Well, it's not gonna be a... Se oh, I mean, I guess it's uh, technically a secret, I suppose, because it is a hiding spot, but... So you're gonna press this button here, 
and then the stairs will come out and you should be able to just jump up uh, onto the roof just like so the muffin man have you heard of the muffin man Ba -na, ba -na, na -na -na -na. Oh yeah, that's right, Rick. I forgot about that. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that. You know... Yeah, we're gonna switch this up. We're gonna switch it up. Yeah, Rick, thank you for reminding me about that, actually. So we're gonna just switch it up. So that way you, it's not even... Yeah, I forgot about that. We'll just make it so that it's not even an option. I guess I just have to go in and make sure that my timer is shorter now, because it's a long timer there. The survival baguette man. Who the hell is that? Okay, this is this is the jail. Is it this one? No, it's this one. Right? Yeah. Am I gonna use those hay bales to a staircase? Well, that's what that, that was originally how this was kind of designed, but... Okay, so that can... This doesn't have to go nearly as high anymore either. We're working this out. What if I make a maze? I don't know. What if? Oh, it's not on a controller. Ah, well, that would make sense. There we go. So now that way, uh, no one will even think it's uh, it's meant to go up onto the roof. Was there any part that I found difficult to build? Um, I mean, for me, the difficult thing was. Uh, I mean, this like I was saying, this is still a learning process for me in making a hide and seek map. Um. I mean, the difficult thing for me was making it look detailed and not just a giant flat map. Because obviously it's still very presented as a flat map. Now, I think it's fair to say, though, that the Western world, like the Wild West, you know, it's a, it's very flat areas with, like, mountains that kind of jut out of the deserts and stuff, you know? So that would probably be my most difficult thing. Um, but that's a good question, though. Can you make a hiding place, which is a board that usually a type of moose head should sit on, but instead one's head sticks out from the board? Mr. N, that would be hilarious. Like a, a bunch, like a, those trophy, the wall, like the, the hunting trophies, except one of them is like your head. That would be pretty funny. I think it'd be obvious though. A farm with a corn maze. I don't know what my next hide and seek map is going to be. I don't know yet. I'm excited to start another one after this though. Yeah, exactly, Daimonic. Exactly. It was flat enough, so... Not that weird, right? <laughs> Thanks for answering. Hey, no problem. I mean... I'm sure there's probably better things. I mean, obviously, I've suffered through some of the logic. Does that count? Technically, we've all suffered together. But, you know... Hey, the decoy. Great to see you. 
bash it with a hammer? Yeah, boredom, we were trying to avoid hammer spots as much as possible. There's only one hammer spot. There's one hammer spot, and it is, um, it's the most intuitive hammer spot you'll ever see in this game in a hide-and-seek match. Very intuitive. Uh, red. All right, see you later, Wandering. Like the challenge mode buttons. Yeah, we have this one spot here. So this is the only hammer related spot. I think maybe I'm wrong, but you do that and it opens this up here. It doesn't have to stick as long as uh, like if it's in the middle here like that, then it'll just close again. No problem. So it doesn't really matter if it's uh, in one state or another. Kind of nice to leave it like that, though. Right? Yeah, it's a cool spot, isn't it? Hey, Kitty Forest, good to see you. Hammer spots are difficult to get right. I agree completely, Zerdox, and that's actually why I have been avoiding them. They're, they're not intuitive, you know? It's not always the most intuitive thing ever. Uh, but this one... How obvious, right? Like, how... Like, I don't think it gets much more obvious than, like, hit this with your hammer. So... Does it need to be that high? Uh, does what need to be that high? Like, just this whole thing? Or I don't know what you mean. I've been doing great, kitty. You've been doing great, thank you. Can I make a random chessboard? Um, uh, maybe. Technically, we could, uh... I mean, I could, but it's like... You know. Because it would be, like, in the bar here, right? Nah, it's fine. We don't need that. We're not a bunch of nerds. Make it move the cart. Yeah, I'm trying to... I mean, you know we're trying to avoid too many moving pieces, right? Need more of a poker table than anything? I agree. But I don't think I'm going to worry too much about, like... Because, I'm, you know, it's like, oh, oh, it's a poker table. Ah, well, here you go. There's the poker table of your dreams. I mean, that kind of looks nice. The floor with the cactus on it, it lifts up and it looks obvious if you see it. The floor with the cactus on it. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Yeah, that does look better, doesn't it? It looks better. They are now officially poker tables. So you know what that means, right? There's gambling in this right now, which means that this is going to be for 18 plus only. Sorry, adults only playing this hide and seek map. Oh, a couple little chips, you know? Some poker chips. That looks good. Les Brown, I knew you'd be happy about this one, the guy. I knew it. I did it for you. Can we maybe, uh... Get a little cactus going in here, maybe? Right? This place is a little drab. You gotta get the... The centerpiece cactus, right? Right? <laughs> you want to chip on the ground as well? A little chip on some... Uh, a little chip here. A couple chips on the ground, maybe. Oh, there were green chips as well, wasn't there? I think so, right? There's green and red. 
So many details. Is chat bullying me again? No. The one block flower pot? Yeah, but this is a cactus town. Any chips on my shoulder? <laughs> uh, I think uh, you would be the one to answer that. You guys are the ones to tell me if I have a chip on my shoulder. Have a stash of chips somewhere? Well, you can't really stash the chips somewhere. We need more stuff on this shelf, don't we? It's uh, honestly pitiful. It's a pitiful shelf. Extra realistic. 500 US worth of chips on the floor. Yeah, that's not even accounting for inflation because this was back in the 1700s. It's abandoned. What are you saying? Are you saying that they can't play poker? They didn't used to play poker somewhere it was abandoned? Is that what you're saying? Is it weird that I would like to have a light on the bottom of this? That's centered though? I would love for it to be centered. Because it would be nice to have a... Like actual lighting down here. Oh, well, it doesn't really do much of anything, actually. That wasn't changing anything. Why fill the shelves? For detail, baby! That's what we're talking about. <laughs> but maybe not. Pretty sure it was the 1800s, at least, for the Wild West. I mean, maybe. I'm not a historian, so... I'm sure we probably need some detail out here as well, but... I mean, maybe, you know what? I guess the, the like, what? Maybe a touch of detail could be a bench here. Just some out exterior benches, right? Like that. That makes a difference. Can do water bottles? Yeah, I hear you, boredom. That's I feel that way for uh, quite a few things. It would always it would be nice to have the even width and the odd width variation of a lot of different things in this game, but obviously there's a balance there. Do I remember how to get to the piano? Yes, I do. I actually do. Google says Wild West era is 1865 to 1900. You ordered food? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... What, what was I even doing? I was in the middle of working on these steps. And for some reason... I ended up somewhere else doing something different. What are you guys doing to me? Glass cup? A glass on the floor? Have some beer bottles? Hey, David Charlie with the super chat. Thank you so much, David. Appreciate that. We'll go six seconds. Five, maybe? Hey, Moon, how are you? Sorry, I'm late. No, I front facing baby chick david front thank you so much for the super chick. chat really appreciate that no need to apologize people you all know you know you don't have to apologize to me for being late we've all we've all got lives to live right appreciate the super chat david though and it's great to see you you just looked it up and it was from 1607 to 1912 yeah, I mean, I have a hard time believing that the Wild West only lasted 30 years. Was it really only 30 years? The alerts are pretty slow. That is certainly an observation. Okay, I want them to be slow, actually. I want those pistons to be slow. How 
How am I? Oh, I'm doing great. Having a good day today. Been playing dark and darker in my free time. Loving the game. Look at that. You can barely see those. Not that. Not. It's not that you're not supposed to see them anyway, right? Like the buttons there. So. Hmm. You know what? I kind of like it uh, with the unpainted um, part here like this, right? I think, isn't that kind of satisfying? You know what I mean? Like, seeing the, the gray, kind it's kind of nice, isn't it? When stream darker and darker, you don't know anything in the game, you'd like to see it. I might stream some Dark and Darker eventually. I might. Add a delay or something? Ah, uh, that's all right, Mr. Yanni. I respect the idea. Oh, I gotta change that there. I keep forgetting about that. Not a bad idea, but it's just... I don't need to really... I don't want to overcomplicate it. Whoops. Can I get up from here? No, so this is where you got to be careful here. This is why it's risky. It can be tough. You got to get up here. I mean, that's an easy enough thing to do. Am I adding? Oh, Alzor, we actually end up getting rid of this side. I got rid of this side here, so that way, uh, that is the way up to the roof and not the uh, hay bale. So yeah, this is the proper way now. It just adds a little more something to hide with uh, in the area. The Wild West was like on the verge of science being big made since it only lasted 30 years. That's a con spot? I mean, maybe. Some head pats. <laughs> uh, the walks might be a bad idea. But we'll leave them anyway. We're, we're gonna leave them anyway, even though I think it's a bad idea. Uh, so how do I get out of here now? Okay, so that's why I need a, a ceiling hole here. They're fine. We'll leave them. We'll leave them. It lasted 305 years. I have a bobblehead. That's right. You gotta listen. Yeah, maybe, Mr. Yanni. I don't know. You're thinking hide behind the sign here, but it changes the sign. I don't think anyone's going to be... No one's going to be really conscious of the of the naming changing there, though. You know what I mean? That's not going to... It's not going to be a hint. Oh, we forgot to underline it. Uh, it's directly in line and not next to it. Can I show you my favorite spot? Uh, not right now. I mean, I'm going to be doing a video on this where I'm going to talk about the whole build, all the hiding spots. And I'll definitely talk about the things I like the most and stuff in it. Uh, you know, things that I'll, I've learned about the build and how I build and stuff too. Oh yeah, let me fix that too. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's see. Let's just make a hole in the ground here. So this is going to drop down, um, uh, it's going down to zero, but we want it to go down to what? Four, maybe? Let's test four. It's so tiny. What's tiny? All your ideas being the best. Yeah, I, uh, oh, one off. 
Yeah, I remember specifically who gave me every single idea, which idea it was. And uh, you're all going <laughs> to... I'm going to stop myself there. The jail sign is tiny. Oh, I don't care about the size of the sign. Who cares about the size of the sign? It's all the same letters from the same letter board. It's the same font. It's all in the same font. It was three. I had a feeling it was three. Should have put it as three. Didn't put it as three. Lesson learned. Window spot in the wall? It was probably your idea. It's pretty funny that look, watch this. Let me restart that. Or stop test, save test. Just watch outside here. Just watch out there. And if you guys notice, you might notice something out here. Right out there. <laughs> the fact that you can see the walk, like, launch itself up into the sky. Kind of annoying, but I think we'll leave it. I remembered to do the thing. Well, you literally just told me to do it. <laughs> yeah, spawning walks is pretty funny. Do we only have the two? Oh, we only have two walks. I want one more walk. We need a third walk. Nice touch with the birds flying overhead. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, and you might not notice it, but the, those birds involve a certain hiding spot. Three more? I think one more. I want one more just right here. Okay, can I please have that? Please. Will you guys let me have that? A roof walk? Uh, which way? Is there a way to tell? Okay, it's that way. So that means if I want that walk to face here... Yeah, that's the arrow, right? Like that. Our child has to learn what? You thought I didn't want to involve the birds with a spot? I don't know if I remember saying that necessarily, but we did. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We got to walk here on the corner. There's our boy. Add a broken pen for the walks. I mean, these are more so just wild animals, though. You know what I mean? Like, these are just wild cattle. Wild bulls, or whatever you want, you know? Food on the way. No spam bots during this challenge? I mean, I think maybe YouTube got rid of them. Who knows? Look, at the fact that you can walk around and push these, how cool is that? It's very satisfying. My boy, Moo! Hello from Russia. What's going on? Hello to you. I should add more snakes. I don't have... Oh, that's right. That was another thing I was thinking about. 
Switching computers? Snakes! We could have a snake or something, right? This is the town of Tumbleweed after all? That's right. Do we want snakes? A rattlesnake? No snakes on the plane. Wow, geez. You know, you mentioned you mentioned the word snake and everyone Oh snakes on the plane! Snakes on the plane! What is a snake? Snakes in the mine? Made with those screws? I- what? One person- I mean, that's pretty good. Well, it's for sure not that thing. A snake is the thing on the plane. <laughs> Good to know. That's kinda like a snake, right? Kinda? You have to have a plane. Can you slap the snake? I'm not, I don't know about the rattle tail. Doesn't the tail need to like almost like straighten out? Maybe not, I guess, right? I don't know, what do you think? Is that a pretty good looking snake? I mean, so... Wait, we want cobra style or rattlesnake? What's going on here? That's the problem with that one, is it doesn't... Uh, okay, no, instead of rattling it up... Yeah, see, the way it sticks out is not good. That looks sick. <laughs> I know it needs a tongue. How on earth do you expect me to give it a tongue? Wow, that's dangerous. African jumping snake. Bull for the rattle. It sticks out too much. It sticks out too much. The snake is the plane. I'm tired of these planes on these snakes. I had to omit a bunch of swearing there for you guys, but you understood. Still going? Yeah, for now. The seeker starts in the sheriff's office and the hiders are escaped criminals. That's pretty much how it goes here, Nicholas. That's pretty much how it's designed. You got the job offer. Nice, Joe. Someone's going to ask for a snake spot. Well, we're adding more. So add one to the grave. I don't trust these snakes. 
I'm gonna save it on the lift because we did it. Look, it even has eyes. Look, it even literally has eyes. I, I don't trust these. Yeeting snake. <laughs> I don't trust it. But we're gonna save it anyway. Okay. We're gonna save it anyway, but I don't trust it. Let me see. How high can we drop it from? One more. It could jump out from a grave. Those are adorable. <laughs> it went out. Okay, this reminds me of a video. Did you ever see the video? I think it's like a monkey. I think it's like a monkey or something like that. And the, uh, I think it, I, maybe I'm misremembering this, but I'm pretty sure it's a monkey. And the monkey like finds a snake. And the monkey like starts whipping the snake and then like throws the snake. Have you ever seen that video? <laughs> That's what that made me think of. It's exactly what that made me think of. Put them on cardboard, see if you can shoot it, it'll jump. Have like some jumping snakes. What physics glitch is this? Wasn't it a gibbon? Oh, I can't remember what type of primate it was. I don't remember what kind of primate it was, but it was, uh... I mean, I feel bad for the snake, though, you know? Because the monkey's just like, see you later! <laughs> ah, but guys, I think, uh... It's time for me to go eat. Food's on the way. Um, yeah, we're almost done this build. I think I'm gonna come up with a, I think I'll probably work on this tomorrow. But I think there'll be a couple more streams of this at least. Have the birds drop them. <laughs> yeah, it really is coming along real good. We're almost there. One or two more streams, maybe. Roughly one or two more. Add the steak under the wagons tomorrow. Well, ideally, I would weld it. Enjoy my meal. I will thank you. I will appreciate it. Make sure I save this. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so yeah, guys. I hope you had fun today. Sticking on a bearing, have it wiggle 10 degrees or so. Yeah, we'll maybe do something with the snakes. We'll see what we can work with. Yeah, see you later, Pavel. See you later, Cole. See you, gaming cliche. Liddy. You have a good one as well. Excuse me. Oh well, yeah, I will be back tomorrow with some more gaming action. Be there or be square. That's the saying, right? That's what they say. <laughs> uh, so guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Thank you for all the love, the support. Appreciate it. And we will be back tomorrow, like I said, uh, with some more gaming action. Maybe working on this. Maybe get back to the sloop. I might have to keep working on the sloop, actually. The Sea of Thieves sloop. Haven't, I forgot about that. Maybe we'll work on that tomorrow. Switch it up a bit. You like your squarish life? Au revoir, mes amis. All right, thank you so much, guys. Love you guys. Have a wonderful evening. And I will be seeing you later, all right? Adios. And bye for now. Bye-bye.